During Apollo 17 mission, the final mission of NASA's Apollo program in 1972, astronauts working on the moon, Commander Gene Cernan and lunar module pilot Harrison Schmidt witnessed something very strange hovering over their heads. Usually, NASA astronauts follow a script and they know exactly what and when to say. But one astronaut, however, was too shocked by something he had never seen before. He forgot his lines and no longer followed the script. What did he see on the moon? Section 51 Apollo 17, December 7, 1972, was the final mission of NASA's Apollo program, the most recent time humans have set foot on the moon or traveled beyond low Earth orbit. Commander Gene Cernan and lunar module pilot Harrison Schmidt walked on the moon while command module pilot Ronald Evans orbited above. Normally, NASA astronauts follow a script, and they know exactly what and when to say. One astronaut, however, was too shocked by something he had never seen before. As you will see in the following video, he forgets his lines and no longer follows the script. Instead, a long and not planned discussion and conversation starts. The astronaut is truly amazed, unlike his colleague, who seems to be in charge. The astronaut asks what these objects were that flew over his head. Then it becomes hilarious. Flabbergasted, the second astronaut does also not know what to say. This was not planned and not in the script. He is however aware of the fact that they are being watched by NASA officials. After a short period of silence, He says that it was a blast coming from the dial-shaped disk of the high-gain antenna on the rover. More objects start flying over and again we hear genuine excitement. Then the astronaut realizes that he had said something he should not have said in front of the cameras and NASA. He reluctantly accepts the vague explanation. He is really annoyed and you hear sarcasm and disbelief in the undertone of his voice. NASA tries to save this unpleasant situation and intervenes as Capcom confirms that it was a blast from the antenna and that it happened before. Marshall's also looking at the hey, possibility of the uh, FPB coming to Qualm. I don't see if they can take a front fender off and put it on the back there. And they need to know where it broke oh, off. Where the boss, that rock? See if yeah, it's a feasible right. procedure. Okay. Wait, it's going there. It's not that big. Okay, why don't you put an SCB? Why don't you put an SCB two and bring that in instead? Leave SRB out, and then we'll just leave SCB two in forever. Okay. Okay. Verify SRC pussy bed. What are those things going over? What is that, Jack? Hey, something just get here. What blue? Hey, what is that? Oh, you're. Uh, Your antenna, your, uh, it's that styrofoam off the uh, high gain antenna package. On the limb? No, the, the one you deployed. The rover high gain antenna. I got it blew up. Yeah. I thought we'd been hit by a, by a, look at that stuff just get flying over the top of our head. I thought we were the closest witnesses to a lunar meteor impact. I wonder if, it take, if that's the same glass I picked up. Oh, I don't know. John says are it blew you, up on kidding? his mission too, guys. Well, isn't that what you thought it was? Isn't that what you thought it was? Huh? I thought you were kidding. No, I've never seen that before. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was a... No, I, you, you just... Uh, when you saw that stuff coming, I didn't see that at all. Holy smoly. Uh, Roger 17, and John says that it blew up on his mission as well. Okay, Bob, uh, I guess I'm going to take the uh, TV away from you. Okay, and uh, Gene, one thing we'd like before you guys leave the room. 
One thing we'd like before you guys leave the rover is uh, a fairly good description of what happened to the rear fender when it came on. We need a verification of the back of the ACR. Raj, we're uh, we got a lot to do here yet. That's right. Okay. Inco flight. Bye. Inco flight. Got flight. Be, uh, Copy what happened to that antenna. Romeo. It blew up, I guess, some stereophone. I don't well, know what it is. I'll talk to John. A piece of the rail on the uh, on the after this board side here. Uh, the rail isn't missing. It's just a piece of the flange. Uh, uh, the rail that fits against the fender, but that doesn't hold any part of the fender on. I don't remember what I saw on the fender. The rails look pretty good, Bob. And I had one of them completely on, and I just couldn't get the other one on. If I'd known what that dust was, I would have tried an awful lot harder. Okay, do you have any feeling that... I heard John telling me, but... Do you have any feeling that you could uh, get away with putting the front fender on? Flight EVA. Go ahead. Okay, we tried putting the front fender on the rear well, I fender uh, with the claw unit unsuited, and but it is uh, one heck of a task, unsuited. We don't easy. think he can do it in a suit. Okay, okay. as far as you can tell, so we can look I at it overnight, it. the uh, rear fender, the part that's remaining, looks in fairly good shape, right? Take a good look at it. Light, tell me. I go ahead. Yeah, the part you need, I think, five uh, minutes pad on that 25 hold that though. fender on. Okay. You see, we better take those dust brushes up there. Yeah, yeah, that's all here. There's enough here to hold the fender on, Bob. Okay, we'll take a look at it here while you're sleeping. Okay, we'll take a look at it here while you're sleeping. Okay, let me get some breakers here. LRV breakers, Alpha, hey, Bravo, Bob, Charlie, and Delta. While you were talking, I got all the mags. Romeo, Alpha, Goff, Charlie. Hotel. Hotel. That's on a magazine. According to the astronaut, who clearly is in charge, this blast from the antenna is just routine. This is an interesting video. Styrofoam blowing up on the moon? This has happened before? When this really would be the case, would they not have taken countermeasures? Space programs are planned with utmost precision and they do not take any risks with equipment and astronauts. Moreover, if we watch some part of the footage in slow motion, we can see something passing in the sky. So what do you think after having seen the footage? Was it a blast from the antenna, exploding styrofoam, or is someone not telling us the truth and these two astronauts had a couple of visitors passing by? Knowing the testimony of other astronauts who claimed to have seen strange things and different anomalies while in space, these videos of missions on the moon are likely to make people talk for a very long time. Section 51 is on social networks, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Don't forget to hit that like button and that bell button too. Don't forget to share the video and to subscribe to that channel. Thanks for watching. This was Dos Geek with Section 51. I'll be back really soon. Open your eyes, watch the sky, live long and prosper.